What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm, and we're back with Ark. And today we are gonna get our our magical AC system because I actually got some crystal. I had to go somewhere else because I believe, from what I heard in the comments, I'm not supposed to go up there. So I I stopped going up there, and I just kind of went around the map, finding it on random places all over, along with borrowing some from people nearby. <laughs> so we're just gonna put that there. So now I would just basically put a fertilized egg up there and grow it. It's pretty awesome that I leveled up though. Let's see. Let's get some more health. All right, so we're 57 now. And I'm thinking we need some lights. So let's learn lights real fast. Light. Uh, what is it called then? Lamp? Oh, I probably need to learn the, yep, standing torch. So we'll learn it that quick. Lamp. And we're just going to buy the Omni because it, it does the work it needs to do. Right, so structures, electric, and we're going to build two just to kind of get this whole place kind of lit up. And then I thought I would go airdrop hunting today because I haven't gone around the map really in looking for airdrops. Um, I won't be able to get any reds, but it'll be good to get some pretty sweet tools up. All right, so that works. And we're just going to put one right in this corner. Uh, game. Thank you. So, basically, it's bright as hell. Game's lagging. Quite bad. There we go. Quite bright. I know that wastes fuel, but honestly, I don't feel like leaving it on at this exact moment. And then I thought, actually... Hmm... Now that I'm thinking about it, what does it take for me to build this? Do I have any extra cementing paste? No, I do not. Alright, so we're going airdrop hunting. Uh, next time, maybe I'll go get some cementing paste. Use someone's frog in my tribe. I'm sure we have one sitting around somewhere. I'm gonna walk in and there's gonna be a frog in front of me. No? Damn it. Usually that's how it works. I, I say something and it happens. So we're gonna take this Pteranodon and look for some airdrops real quick. And look at that blue one. So basically, the reason I'm hitting airdrops is because I can get the ramshackle gear. And having ramshackle stuff is kind of worth. Uh, I would enjoy to have some ramshackle in my life. Along with, I'm going to build my own cage. Probably off camera because you guys have seen me build multiple cages out of stone around my base. Because uh, we're having issues with like tribe alliances. My stuff keeps dying in their base. Uh, they're not killing it. It just dies. For some reason in that area, dinosaurs just drop dead. Other than the ones that belong to them. It actually just says they've been killed. Uh, and then they find their dinosaurs eating them. But honestly, they're not killing them because it would put a name of who killed who. And that is not happening. So, oh, that's a green airdrop. My color blindness is kicking in or something. I have no idea. All right, so let's land and wait for this thing to land. And hopefully make it to the next one pretty quickly. I'm going to have to get meat inside my bird too. And I also didn't bring food again. I mean, okay for now. I'm going to drop the wood, though. Don't need it. Along with the stone. The other stuff I can use. Alright, let's see. Do you actually killing anything that I can just scavenge off their dead bodies? Sabertooth's being angry. I would like to get some meat inside this boy. I don't want to go after anything that will fight back, in per se. <laughs> I mean, turtle, pteranodon, hmm, it's a very quiet area right now. I mean, I've seen a couple T-Rexes, a Sarko walking on land, some frogs. I probably should tame a frog quite soon just to have it, you know, readily available. And then right here is like the swamp so you can get easy chitin and... Keratin? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I know Chitin is one of them. Anyways. Away we go. To an unknown world. I haven't flown around the map much. Gotta avoid people's bases at all costs so I don't just get lit up by a plan X here and there. Is that a drop? That is a drop. Blue or purple? Can't tell. 
cannot tell. I'm quite colorblind. And I've also had a weird day. Uh, I signed up for the gym. That is that is something new. I haven't gone to the gym since I had a back injury at work a couple of years ago. So I'm finally getting back into the gym, and I'm kind of excited. Uh, I used to be a gym goer quite often, and I want to get, you know, back into some shape. I'm sure my girlfriend would be happy with that. Uh, but I, I used to be a lot heavier, too. Like, not fat, but I put on muscle mass and then got sick, lost it all. I was actually hospitalized for, like, a week with meningitis. It was your rate, I'll tell you. It's fantastic. No, you don't ever want it. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, that was an interesting predicament in my lifehood. Uh, it was just a basic flu. Became meningitis. It uh, mutated. It was quite awesome. Anyways. But yeah, getting back into the gym should be exciting. And if, if you've never been to the gym, you should, you know, not going to praise it, but it's honestly an amazing thing for your body. Uh, I feel good when you can leave the gym. The next day you feel like shit because, you know, everything hurts if you did it right. But <laughs> that's just the type of person I am. I'll push it a little bit till it hurts and then, you know, be good. Feels good the next day. Kind of just recovery phase here and there. At, a, at one time I wanted to be a boxer, but that didn't turn out very well. <laughs> I don't have that, uh, that motivation a lot of boxers do, but, you know, praise to you if you are a boxer. And I am lagging like crazy. What did I just fly into? Uh, frames? Thank you. It's like all the new stuff they added to the map. There's more dinosaurs now and stuff, so it's a little nutty. Oh my god, I thought you were a T-Rex. Can we, can we not? Grab the blueprints and run. Oh my god, I almost just got wiped out by that fucking tail whip. Ooh, that was close. Oh, that was real close. Alright, we're returning to base to get my health back up, because fuck that. I look like a raptor came in and just fucked everything up. So, that hurt. That hurt quite a bit. But I mean, we, we got a couple saddles and we also have storage bins now, which I also didn't have back at base. Look at this nutty place. Look at all the dinosaurs in one little area. Alright, get that stamina back and travel. But it's cool, we got the lights up and an AC. We also got a couple saddles and storage, along with making the ability to make spark powder to make more of my metal. Because it didn't all smell. 100 wood was not good enough. So we're going to have to move forward. There's a lot of Brontos. I'm not used to all those Brontos. I thought that was a giga for a second. I was just going to sit and ponder things, you know, <laughs> debate if I have enough resources among all my tribe mates to get a giga. But honestly, I don't. We don't at all. Yeah, but one of these days, I'm also going to get an Argentavis. That's that's one of my next things is going to be an Argentavis just to carry things to my base. Like, that's, that's the simple part of things. I just need an Argentavis to carry things. Such as a frog, or if I want to tame a new beaver. You know, kind of get those defenses up. But yeah, once I... I'm going to build a big-ass, you know, enclosure. Because that's the fun and everything. And I'll also level up probably quite a bit. Hopefully like 60. 63, maybe. If I do enough work. But I mean, EXP is EXP. I'll take it either way. Yeah, but I'm thinking I'm going to build, like, a huge enclosure in front. Maybe not contain my base within it. And keep my resources within, you know, the confines of the safer, you know, alliance base. But we'll see what happens. Because it's, it's hard to build a wall around something that's in the water almost. You know? We're sitting there almost, like, entirely underwater. I mean, if there was a wave, we'd be gone. Like, they're, there's, they're making a movie about what would happen. It's called The Wave. And that's exactly what would happen to me. Is your food okay? Yeah, you're okay. Ooh, I see you cementing paste. I want you in my belly. I don't know what Code's doing with it, so I don't want to take it. But I want it. My mind keeps telling me no. But my body. Yeah, th th that's like what's popping in my head right now. I mean, if I built a greenhouse, would he be offended? 
that I took stuff. I don't think so. Especially, we need frogs. Okay. Let's see how much we would need just to make a simple, you know, box. I remember, I'm trying to remember, like, the... I think you need, like, a four, four foundation to have four. Like, four by two. No, four by three. Yeah, it would be four by three on stone foundations. I mean, I could lay it out now and then move up in the world. What does it take? How much cementing paste does it take to build a greenhouse? Four, five. I mean, it's not the end of the world. That's actually pretty manageable. A wall is ten, though? Oh, my God. No, it's the ceiling. Okay. 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 Manageable. Manageable. I mean, I should start planning out where I want my greenhouse after I put up my giant wall. Just to kind of put a perspective on things. That's probably the better way of doing it. And let's see what else. Ankylos. Dodicarus. Hmm. Strange. Maybe I'll use you just to get narco berries. Do you have meat spoiling in you? You have everything spoiling in you. You jeebus. What? What? What are you doing, Code? I don't... I don't understand. Unless this is my brother going crazy. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. He's, like, planning something. So I don't want to, like, mess with it. Yeah, we'll go set up the base a little bit more. But Bronto Hell almost just led to our end all in one sitting. We got some saddles, so I guess I could tame some things under the saddle. But that would not be right now because I do not have anything set up yet. I wonder what's at old base. There must be stuff at old base. Alright, so we got a stego saddle. Some blueprints. Some neat stuff. Cool. Alrighty. We're on top of things. Anything else cool we can build? Hmm. Not at C4 level yet. Might be why Code's collecting cementing paste. C4 is a common thing. Hmm. Really wondering what I want to build. See, I just basically just take things from people, so it's, it's, it's all a different story. Yeah, see? I don't even have the basics learned. Like, this, I know I learned. I don't know why I unlearned it. Unless I did something when I was... Recently, one of the tribes, Tribe Hydra, had an issue with tribe stuff. So I had to, like, switch to their tribe. Not switch to their tribe. Leave my tribe. Join another tribe. Force my way back into this tribe. And then that didn't work. So I had to relog like, seven times to get into my own tribe. Without having to have someone online. That was terrible. Anyways, that usually glitches me up. Last time we did that, we merged with another tribe. So, I mean, I'm, I'm used to glitches that mess everything up. Alright, let's just get everyone some meat. It's looking like we don't have a feeding trough up at all. That was metal like just sitting out here. Allies. See what crap we can get ourselves into over here. Just sit there for Monia. No! Oh god. That's... Nope. We're not messing with the terror bird. Fortunately, that is not a thing. And of course, this guy ate all the meat. So, alright. So, we're getting meat for the bird. Normal. We're also leveling up a little bit. Level up just a tad bit. You are downing that meat, boy. A little crazy. Oh, those things are squishy. There we go. You're all done eating. 
Let's feed the petting zoo. Alright, you can have some. You're gonna take some. I think Code feeds you. Code does feed you. I'm gonna feed his spino. Just a tad bit. I mean, he has kibble, so he might be actually pretty good. Let's see. Any airdrops nearby? That's kind of far. Ugh. I don't really want to fly that far for an airdrop. Also, that's in hell. That's like the swamp of hell. Nope. Not up there. We're not allowed to go up there. And yeah, we should be working on an idea that came from someone named Feudy in. Or Feudy, as I believe he's called. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. He'll probably comment down below to let me know. Uh, he had an idea for me to build, like, a UN building for the tribes to talk and stuff out of metal and, like, kind of keep it, like, it's going to be made out of metal so people don't destroy it. Like, it's it's not a base. It's going to be part of, like, the server stuff. Like, in a UN to have, like, trade deals and stuff between tribes and kind of work stuff out and sit around and talk in person, you know, personally. So that will be pretty cool if I set that up. All right, so we got the fridge up. Got an AC up. We got fridge, fuck yeah. And when do we get the crazy, crazy stuff? Way at the bottom. 60s is where we get some of the nut stuff. 70 is unnecessary. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a little... Level 90 is crazy. Uh, I'm not even close to that. Alright. What I'm gonna do now... Kind of plan ahead. Lag? Plus? Plus, no? I'm gonna grab some stones and start working on a stone foundation. Fence. Fence. Oh, no. Fence. There we go. Need wood. Anyways, we're, we're gonna plan. Uh, next time we come back, I should have the base up and running for you guys so we have a little bit more to do. Also collect a bunch of narcotics so we can tame. But yeah, that's why every episodes have been a little bit late lately are shorter. I've been really busy getting the gym done and, you know, getting back into the school world. Because I cannot let school pass me up. 22 years old. College is important. But I'm still going to be posting, you know, two videos a day, hopefully. One if I'm really, really busy. But I want to go back to, like, three a day, eventually. Because <laughs> that, was, that was the good days. Those were the good days I got to play video games and enjoy life and have everything up to, you know, date. Right now, we're just, we're just smooth sailing, you know? Alrighty. That I've been playing The Division too much. Not going to lie. The game is addicting. We did a little test stream the other day, and everything was pretty awesome. All right, we're going to build one of you. And a lot of people ask why I'm naked. Another answer. Weight reduction, bro. It's all about that weight reduction. So we're going to take this in. I'm going to keep this as our, like, our crafty hole. Eventually, you'll be replaced, hopefully. I think. Is there something in the game that replaced that? I don't know. Used to primitive. We got charcoal, bro. We got charcoal. We got 30 metal left. You know what? We're just gonna... Eh. Eh. There you go. You cook up. Throw the stone in there for later. Oh. Missed a stack. Perfect. Yeah. Anyways, guys. I'm gonna end the episode here. Next time we come back, I should have, like, a big cage like him. Probably bigger. Just to go around. And enjoy my base for what it is. But for now, guys, I've been Demo. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Good night.